Hey, what's up everyone? It's time for a guide on Skippy. Skippy is an extremely agile, extremely fragile, high skill ceiling, mid-level skill floor character that is capable of making some insane plays and outplays. The optimal way to play around Skippy will be to mainly build around his bow. So that means Nitro Bow is an absolute must. And due to his low health, Adrenaline Shot is also required. The other two items are up to you, but I prefer running Vampire Teeth because of Skippy's high rate of attack, as well as inflatable muscles for a little extra health and damage. Other viable items on Skippy include Nitro Shotgun, Holy Sandals, Cluster Bomb, and Knockback Bomb. We're going to start in the center on Skippy and know that this is paramount in having a great early game. Other decent starting areas for Skippy include Top Left Fountain, Igloo, and Cave, but if you start Cave, make sure you get away from the bushes after looting it. You do not need coffee on Skippy due to his extremely high mobility, however I cannot emphasize enough that his health is very, very low, so I would not recommend contesting the Legendary Guard unless you know exactly what you're doing. I found the dead center of the map to be the best starting point for Skippy for two reasons. The first reason is that he has obstacles in all directions he can use to outmaneuver any early game threats, and the second is that silver and gold weapons generally appear more often towards the center of the map than anywhere else. That's not to say you can't find silver weapons and gold weapons in other parts of the map, but the center generally has a higher chance of spawning a silver or gold weapon on the ground. Now after you've looted up, you're going to want to play around three main parts of the map. In the center, in the area upper left with the other fountain, and the area in the top right where the fossils are on display in the square formation. You're going to generally want to never go near bushes with Skippy, especially as a lower level Skippy, as you're opening yourself up to an ambush, and if you, for example, were to be stunned by a duke, you're most likely going to die, or best case scenario, consume both of your health kits and be left on life support. Another key tip is that you're going to want to play around Skippy's active ability. During a fight you can hop in, spray a barrage of arrows at your opponent, and hop out until your bow is ready to be used again. You can also find opportunities to hop in when your opponent's weapons and abilities are on cooldown, or if you know your opponent is about to die and you can survive any final blasts to the face while finishing them off point blank. Now hopping into the second game here, we're going to try and start in the center again. And I want you guys to know that if you're going across a bridge on Skippy, try not to hug the sides because you will proc his passive and then you'll end up in the water. And this can lead to some very bad situations. So we've got a couple bucks here in the center. That is a little bit concerning, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. As I mentioned, we have those fountains and obstacles to hop around, and jump over and outmaneuver everybody. Try not to get hit by any of the legendary guards attacks if you are pushing him and I shouldn't be. I shouldn't push this Lizzie while she is probably have no health.
pretty close one. I think if that fuzzy hit his shot there, we're dead. So that was lucky that he missed as well. And this is a pretty close game right now. We're going to need to find some easy kills to get another health kit and heal back up to full. I'm gonna check this window. It's always better to go through the window than it is to walk right through the door. And this Nyx has no attacks for the moment. Unfortunately, a Larry comes, but we should be able to kill him pretty easily. well to get some gold weapons and some much needed health. I am playing a GM3 Skippy so we are at a little bit of a disadvantage but as I mentioned Skippy is capable of very 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 insane outplays and I'm doing my best to give you guys some of that. So it looks like this circle is going to end near bushes nothing we can do about that but make sure when you're in bushes to just play the safest you can. If you see a duke or like a lizzie, make sure you're not walking into tons of eggs like that. That was pretty scary. But there's a health kit right here. Unfortunately, the lizzie had the her eggs on that as well. Let me do take her down there. See the legendary drop right there, but I don't think anyone's going for it. So with Duke, you can try and bait his stun and then hop away when he uses it. That Duke though just went down, no fight really. You can also hop over traps if you're quick enough. And there's just two more players. pretty used to having Nitro Shotgun on Skippy, so missing a lot of these shots, but that's okay. And the last player is probably hiding somewhere in these bushes. There he is. Got him. Now for this last game, guys, we're not going to have any shout outs. I know it's a tradition, but I do have another gameplay recorded with fellow YouTuber you must play. And I have shout outs in that video for the Finns Are Hungry video. No shout outs from the Reaching Grandmaster 5 video because there was a giveaway and the comments are mainly just giveaway comments. On the fence about starting Igloo or in the center here. I think we're going to start in the center because there's four guards. Although there isn't anyone in the Igloo, so if we do have trouble finding any weapons, we will check the Igloo and we'll just go ahead and do that right now. Seems pretty convenient. We do find a cold bomb, a slightly better bow, and a shotgun. Now for those that didn't know, the Igloo is guaranteed to always give you three weapons. The three weapons you need. Quality is random though, sometimes you can find all gold, sometimes you'll find all bronze, or black. Couple guards for some muscle stacks and health kits here. Another important factor in deciding where you want to start. And we should be good enough to push the legendary guard now. I do want to show you guys what I mean though. When I said earlier, try not to hug the walls on bridges. I'll show you right now. So you will hop over into the water, and if you're not running Holy Sandals or Snorkel, which I don't recommend on Skippy, you're going to have a lot of issues. Looks like we're running into a Shelly bot here. This is going to hurt if we get hit by any of his attacks. So we're going to try and play very, very safe. It looks like he's focused on somebody else right now. Another Shelly, I think. But it was very high damage from that Shelly. We have 60% penalty against him, health and damage. However, we do take him down. 
It's just somebody running a bot, so he was not an issue at all. Interesting choice on that buck fire repellent. Oh, we just took down Zoo York Ninja. It's Jonathan Cifuentes, I didn't even notice. Sorry, man. Shout out to you, though. i give you a shout out for your death. Special case. You'll get the only shout out in this video. So we did hop out of his stun, but it's still registered, unfortunately. And it should be coming up again soon, so we need to watch out for that. Let me take him down. A few more players left. We got a Bruce, that's a pretty easy kill for Skippy. Try not to let him get on top of you for the most part. I did because he was lower level and I knew I could burst him down pretty easily, but if the Bruces aren't near the bushes, they're generally pretty easy to take down a Skippy, whether you run around or burst them down like I did. One of the easier matchups for Skippy. Skippy's also a good counter to Pepper, so if you're really struggling with Peppers, and you're just in the mood to kill a bunch of peppers, you can go Skippy. Make sure you're trying to time your hops with their nitro spears and knockback spears and helium and all that. And that's gonna do it. Got another video coming for you guys very early morning Monday, so be on the lookout for that. And as always, happy hunting.